Yeah, I think sculpting, it always came somewhat intuitive to me when I was younger. Yeah, I guess surfing has always been kind of part of it. People think I just like pour metal on it when I'm done or spray the metal on. Or, yeah, it's a, it's a really old traditional technique. Start out by making the original sculpture out of beeswax. From there, uh, make what's called a mother mold silicone reinforced with like an exoskeleton. So we cut the original sculpture into pieces. Around each of those wax sculptures we created a ceramic like high heat mold. There's something really interesting about portraying surfing in a sculptural art form because there is like this kind of stillness, like even in motion, and that's something that, that really intrigued me early on. I don't know, I love it. I was thinking back to the spear bearer, which is like an you know, ancient Greek sculpture. I mean, the surfboard is kind of in lieu of the spear, you know, thinking about these, these guys that exploring and really the frontier of what was, what's possible in the ocean. There's definitely like this exhilaration or challenge that's they're confronting. You know, these are heroes of our sport and art form, maybe even surfing, that I was super stoked to make something for these people and make something that's special and handmade and put a lot of love and care into each one. And they, they can each have a uniqueness to them and hopefully, you know, being something that they enjoy having in their, in their home. And this piece is, you know, that could potentially last like thousands of years too. So like they can hand it down to their kids. It could be something that they really like, my grandfather did this or my grandmother did that. And my great grandmother did that. So it's, it's kind of fun in that sense too, you know.